Today's lesson is all about slope. This should be a review for you. There's nothing here that you should not have seen in Algebra 1, but we do want to go over it because it has been a while since you've had to do it just by itself. So recall that uh, slope, some people say rise over run. Um, that's one way to define slope. Or the change in y over the change in x. Remember, this means change. That triangle, that's called a delta. It's a lowercase Greek d. Uh, you most likely use that in science class, not in math class, but it means the same thing. Um, then we also have the slope formula, and we reviewed this at the beginning of the semester. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So all of those can help you find slope. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, like I said. It's review. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, I like to label my, oops, I labeled it wrong, label my points. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Remember, it's always x, y paired together, and then the ones are in one ordered pair, the twos are in another. So here we have y mi or 1 minus 7 over 4 minus 3. 1 minus 7 is negative 6, 4 minus 3 is 1. Anytime it's over 1, reduce that, get rid of the 1 on the bottom, so this becomes just negative 6. For B, we've got negative 3 minus negative 8 on the top. And then we've got 18 minus 9 on the bottom. It's going to give us 5 over 9. That can't be reduced or simplified in any way, so we are done. Um, for the lines that we'll be working with, we are going to have them in slope-intercept form. Remember, that's y equals mx plus b. M is the slope, and B is the y-intercept. So B is your starting point. M is which direction you go. And we have four types of slope when we're dealing with lines. We have a positive slope where M is greater than zero. And that means from left to right, um, our line is going up. We have a negative slope where M is less than zero. So from left to right, we're going down. We have zero slope where m equals zero, and this is always y equals a number. These equations don't have an x in them at all because if your slope is zero, let's say we had y equals zero x plus four, well, that cancels out, so we just get y equals four. So zero slope, horizontal lines, it are always y equals a number. And then we have undefined slope, where m is undefined. And these are the ones that are x equals a number. So in these, there is no y in our equations, just x equals 3 or x equals negative 19, something like that. So those are our four types of slope that we can have. All right, so we're going to graph an example of each of these, um, of a slope-intercept form, a horizontal and a vertical line. So in 2a, we've got a slope of negative 2. Remember, that's negative 2 over 1. And we've got a y-intercept of 5. Now our y-intercept is our starting point, so we put a dot on the y-axis at 5. Negative 2 over 1, we move down 2, right 1. You could also move up to left 1. So either way would work. So down two, right one, down two, right one. And I like to go ahead and just, you technically only need two points, but I like to go ahead and just fill in the whole graph with points. That way, as I'm drawing my line, I can stay on track a little bit better. I'm going to call that line A since it's example 2A. For B, we've got x equals 4. Since it's x equals a number, we know that's going to be a vertical line through 4 on the x-axis. So we can put a point at 4 and then just draw our line. That will be line B. And then for C, we've got y equals negative 3. That's a horizontal line because there's no x, so our slope is 0, through negative 3. So we put a point on negative 3 on the y-axis. And we draw our line horizontally. So I'll label that one line C. All 
All right, a little bit more algebra practice with this. It's been a while since you've done some of these types of problems. Um, write an equation with the line of slope 5, so m equals 5, and y-intercept of 3, so b equals, excuse me, negative 3. So y equals 5x plus negative 3. We don't want to say plus negative 3. We'll simplify that to 5x minus 3. If you want to go straight to that point, that's fine. You don't need to write the plus a negative statement in there. For B, here we don't have the y-intercept. We have another point, so we need to find our y-intercept. Remember, that's x, that's y. Our slope is negative 2, so we plug those in to y equals mx plus b, and we'll be able to solve for b. So our y is 6, m is negative 2, x is negative 3, and then we don't know b, so we just write plus b. 6 equals 6 plus b, so b equals 0. We subtract 6 from both sides, so we have y equals negative 2x. And technically it's x plus 0, but again, that's not something we usually write. So y equals negative 2x. For 3c, uh, here we have two points, so we need to find our slope and then do what we did in example b. So we've got... 8 minus 1 over 4 minus negative 3. That will give us 7 over 7, which reduces to 1 as our slope. So I'm going to use the first point. It doesn't matter which one you use. You're going to get the same answer in the end. So y equals mx plus b. 1 equals negative 3 plus b. So b is 4. So now we have y equals, our slope was 1, x plus 4. And again, we don't usually write 1x, so we'll write y equals x plus 4. And then our last one, I'll write the equation of the line shown. Um, we can find our slope by doing, actually counting rise over run if you want to. So there we go, negative 4. And we go 5 to the right, so that's positive 5. So our slope is negative 4 fifths. Then we can just use one of these points in order to find our y-intercept. It looks like, remember pictures can be misleading, it looks like we're close to um, 3 on there, but we don't necessarily want to trust that. So let's plug in. Um, I'm going to use this point, that's negative 1, 4. So if we have 4 equals negative 4 fifths times negative 1 plus b. So that'll be 4 equals 4 fifths plus b. So we'll subtract 4 fifths from both sides. Um, so that will be 16 fifths. Uh, if you wanted, I prefer to relieve them as improper fractions. If you wanted to, you could say 3 and 1 fifth. That would be fine. So y equals negative 4 fifths x. And when we write this, we want that negative to be out front. Okay. Plus 16 fifths. So that's the equation for our last line. So rise over run. Remember the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If you have two points, you find the slope, you plug in to find the y-intercept. All the equations that we'll be using next time will be in slope-intercept form, and we will start comparing slope for parallel and perpendicular lines. So do your practice problems. Again, this is a review section, so none of this should be new material. Do your practice problems. Get ready for that mastery check. Good luck.